What's up, you guys? It's your girl Sierra, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, I'll be doing the two month post Big Chop update. But before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And so, as you all know, in my previous video, I said that I had transitioned for a whole year, which was from September of 2017 until September of 18. It was Labor Day weekend. That's when I did my Big Chop. And when I first did my Big Chop, I don't know, like I was, I was nervous, but then I was like confident, I was like, oh yeah, today's the day I'm cutting my hair off, you know? I wasn't like, I don't know, I haven't cried about it and I probably won't cry because, you know, it's just hair and it's gonna grow back. Like, it's grown a lot since, you know, September. When I first cut it and I saw the results, like, it was like this much hair, like, you know, it was full, like, you know, a lot of hair. And I was like, oh, it'll be okay, it's just shrinkage. Like, not knowing that it was that short, like I couldn't see in the back of my head when I got it big, like chopped. And for that first week, it took it took me like a good minute to get used to my the length of my hair because I wasn't used to having short hair. Like my hair was like, I was at my shoulder. So like I was, I don't know, it took me a minute to adjust to it and start to get comfortable with my hair. And um, I don't know, it was just something new. And to be honest with you, and to be honest, y'all, I don't think no one noticed my hair but two people in my family. And that was my aunt and my dad. Like, nobody noticed it. And, like, honestly, to this day, they probably still don't know. Well, half of them know and half of them don't. Like, I don't know, like, you could tell it's, you know, different now. But they did not notice, my, like, they didn't even say anything about my hair or nothing. But... Um, what was this? I think it was like back in high school, like 11th or 12th grade year. Like I had a cousin. No, was, no, 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 no. She transitioned before I think my 11th grade year. Well, she went natural before. But like I saw her do it and I was like, ooh, I might do it myself. Like I had thoughts of doing it, but I never thought I would do it. But when I saw her big chop and like when she cut her hair, like she had like a little afro and stuff, you know, I was like, I, mean, I became more motivated to do it because I saw somebody else in my family do it. And I just became more confident. I was like, oh yeah, I can do this too. And like it took her a minute to get used to her hair too. But pretty much that's basically where I got, you know, confidence to cut my own hair. But yeah, um, that's the story about my like my cousin getting hers done. I did not get my hair professionally like chopped, as y'all say. Because I had my mom to do mine, and like, you know, she did a pretty good job of doing like cutting it off. You know, I couldn't see myself paying them. You know, it's not really the money. It's just like I, you know, why would I pay somebody to do it? And I have family members here can do it. You know, but yeah, she did a pretty good job. I think about it eventually one day getting it pressed, but I haven't used heat in like 12 or 13 months, and I don't know how that's gonna feel. You know. Like I'm used to not even using, like I air dry my hair. So, you know, I haven't had heat in a while. So probably wondering what are like, how I got my hair to grow so fast. Honestly, this is how I look. When I first started my transition, I'm gonna go back, I think here. When I first started my transition, that day, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the lock method. Oh, I'm gonna do all this stuff. I'm gonna do a routine. Yeah, that routine lasted for about, a month or two and I was like uh-uh you know because y'all know how y'all come in at, you know after work school or whatever you know you're just tired so that was me and then me being in college you know I was like really tired you know you just don't have you know you just don't feel like doing your hair so what I'm gonna say please do not do what I did I honestly slept on my hair every night you know like I have satin pillowcases to know like to lock in the moisture in your hair so it won't dry your hair out. I, I had satin pillowcases. You know, they're, they're okay, but I wouldn't recommend every night sleeping on it without a scarf on your head. But that's what I did most nights. I slept without a scarf, without doing anything to my hair. You know? And luckily enough, it grew and didn't break off. But now, like if you're, if you're honestly in this stage, transitioning stage, or like recently big chopped, like honestly, I would recommend Honestly, moisturizing, like tying your hair down, like 
doing like a protective style, like twisting it up at night. It's like the simplest thing, twisting it at night, putting a scarf on it, you know, and keeping it, you know, tied down. And that honestly will do wonders because that's always like the main thing of being natural is taking care of your hair. And that's the reason why I chose to go natural because I had heat damage bad. Like I used, I used flat irons, curling ones, my installer, all of that. And now it just feels like I bought my installer for nothing because I've only used it maybe like three times. And it's just sitting there in my room collecting dust now. But you know, maybe one day I'll, you know, straighten it one day. But the main key, honestly, to being natural is the lock method. Liquid, oil, and cream. Also, keeping it moisturized. Like a good oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, um, tea tree oil. I think I've heard somebody say they use avocado oil. Olive oil is a good one. Um, yeah, those are like some good oils to use in your hair. And also like deep conditioning your hair like every other wash. I wash my hair every week. So um, I deep condition like, yeah, t t every two weeks. But I condition every week. Like, you know, it's a difference, you know? If y'all naturally, y'all understand. But... I would, I would really recommend, um, yeah, really recommend keeping your hair tied down at night. That's a main thing, for real. And to having protective hairstyles. So I chopped off in September. I had a wedding maybe two weeks after I big chop. My our cousin's wedding, the same cousin that went natural. And my hair was long enough for a, you know, a little, you know, Teeny weeny afro, you know, TWA. I actually wore a wig for that wedding because I was actually in her wedding. So I wore a wig and I'll post a picture up here of like the wig. But having protective hairstyles really helps your hair grow. Like I know when y'all's parents, well, how to say it, when y'all were younger, y'all's parents always said, you know, keep your hands out your hair, you know? Y'all understand what I'm talking about if y'all, you know, if y'all know. But I never understood that back then because I was like, why you know but um keeping your hand out your, like keeping your hands out your hair like if you keeping your hands in here it's gonna dry it out you know so that's also a thing keeping your hands out your hair keeping protective hairstyles and also moisturizing it that's the main three that I recommend right now who knows three actually has helped my hair because since I big chopped I may have worn my wig let me see maybe four or five times since September. And, you know, it's actually done pretty good. And y'all are probably wondering, what products do I use on my hair? Well, I will be doing a video on what products do I use, and that should be up, well, I'm not gonna say when, but you know, it'll be up soon. If you're a natural, you know the struggle of having a product that will actually work. It's like basically trial and error. Like, okay, let's say, I'm gonna say, code names. Well, let's say Sarah, oh, she can, you know, her hair takes Cantu really well, like, Cantu works really well, but As I Am products do not work as well on her hair. All right, let's say Jenny, As I Am works on hair, but Cantu doesn't. Like, you know, everybody's hair is different, so I don't have a line of products. I have, like, multiple, how to say it, multiple brands with multiple products, like, they're not all by the same company, if that makes sense. Because not everything works on my hair as if it works for you, you know? So, I've actually had to learn trial and error. Like, that's the only thing about being natural. You go through so much money trying to find a good product. And, you know, that's the thing I hate. It's, you know, wasting money on products. Like, I have products I've probably, probably used like once or twice still in my hair stuff, you know? But, you know, it's trial and error. You have to try it. And, also, if you're planning on going natural, the best shampoo is sulfate free. No alcohol, like I think Cantu has sulf, no. Cantu has, I think, is it alcohol in their products? I'm not sure if that's the brand or not, but you can tell like on most shampoos, the top of the bottle, it'll, well not top, the front of the bottle, it'll have sulfate free. Like what I use may not help for you, you know, it may not work. But I'll be doing a video on that soon, and just stay tuned for that. But, um, you know, stay tuned for more videos. Um, I, I do plan on doing 
the natural hair tag. Um, I plan on doing the what products do I use and possibly I might be doing um, like fall hairstyles, like different hairstyles, you know, quick hairstyles. I also may plan on doing that. At the end of this video, I'll post like different pictures since I've big chopped so you can see the difference of my hair, like the growth. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to comment down below what I, what video ideas I should do. And also like different tips on, you know, how to do different things. But anyways, it's your girl Sierra, and I am out.